Within growing media, uh, what's becoming very popular now is having companies add biological components uh, to their mixes. Those biological components typically include fungi or, ba or bacteria, fungi being mycorrhizae or trichoderma species, bacteria being bacillus. Uh, if you put them on the petri dishes, they may look something like this, uh, but they kind of add them to help uh, benefit the plant or reduce pathogens is the goal. So these pre-inoculated mixes, uh, while there's some advantages to potentially reducing pathogens, typically would be best to add the material yourself. You know, see here, for example, this ProMix has mycorrhizae added. Uh, these are living components, all have shelf life, and it's best to add fresh material uh, that you know if it's within the stated shelf life. So for example, if you're buying your um, soilless mix here in large bulk, and you're only using a portion of it, and you're saving it, uh, the shelf life of those microbes could degrade over time. Uh, those grower added mixes uh, allows the grower to know that fresh product has been added. It offers the opportunity for growers to address specific issues. If you're looking at uh, reducing damping off, for example, you may want to add products specifically for that purpose. This provides flexibility to change the mix based on your application. Just uh, two examples here of, you know, some uh, have blend products where they're adding uh, not only mycorrhizae products, but bacillus and trichoderma blends all in one, along with a couple nutrients. And that's common in both of these products here. It's important to look for the propagation um, propagules per gram or CFUs, colony forming units per gram, when you're looking at comparing the um, microbial density of certain products. However, this brings up a question of, are they worth it? This can be a debated topic. And in controlled cases where many other plant requirements are being maximized, such as light, nutrients, and water, the positive effects of these microbes might be reduced. Uh, as a result, increase in the cost may not be justified. So you're looking at typically the cost of some of these products versus the potential benefits. If you're maximizing light and nutrients and water and potentially uh, carbon dioxide, uh, the availability and the benefits of these um, added microbes may not be worth it. Um, will they do any harm? Typically no, uh, but the cost may be cost prohibitive in the sense that uh, you might be adding more cost to the situation and not getting necessarily a return for that in the end product.